My tears could fill an ocean. My tears led me to write this. Radical ecology. The structure of power is based on a lack of respect, not solely for those of us who fail to conform to the demands of the dominant power structure, the poor, the mad, women, the transgender queer, but also a lack of respect for the ecosystem that supports us. Because the basic needs of the human, food, heat, water, and a decent living environment, are not considered to have a high enough value in the capitalist system, the resources of the world are being plundered at a rate which will soon convert the biodiversity of thousands of ecosystems into one huge concrete jungle. Ultimately, capitalism sees the real estate value as the most important asset these ecosystems have. And as long as we have genetic samples, a few frozen specimens, and some beautiful nature documentary footage of the millions of life forms we've destroyed, it's not important that they no longer actually exist. We should stop fighting amongst ourselves and join together to demand that the fruits of the earth and sea are bought and sold at their real value. An acre of rice grown in China costs the same as one grown in Europe, and the produce flown across the globe is priced at a rate to match the ridiculous journey it makes. Advertising sells us the myth that we can all live like Posh Bex or Louis XIV, but where will all the gold come from? And what exactly have we done to deserve this earth? We only enjoy our individual freedoms at the cost of others, and more importantly, at the cost of the future generations. In a capitalist society, there is a constant need to create a demand, and since in the lack of lax society, the basic needs of the citizens no longer have a market value, it's necessary to open new markets and find new ways to market products. In this society, obsessed with the rights of the individual, the duties we as citizens have towards each other get swamped in the search for the new. So it's no coincidence that the centre of the debates over emerging identities, which currently seem to focus on queer and intersex as the latest site of radical dissent, should be the largest capitalist marketplace, the United States. Each citizen should have the same right to control the destiny of their body, free from the manipulation of doctors and society. But these should be seen within the wider context of the world ecosystem, which is being constantly degraded by the expansion of capitalism. Carrying out a critique based on the ideal solely of the superhuman individual is not radical. Identity politics are a capitalist smokescreen. Long live ecosexuality.